Does God exist? Is there a God? How do we know God is real? These questions have been asked for decades, even centuries. People want proof, evidence and arguments for the existence of God. The answer is available but it requires one thing, keep an open mind. Jesus made this promise to anyone seeking truth. Keep on asking. And you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking, and you will find. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks, finds, Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 to 8. You have already asked yourself if God is real or not, but go one step further. What if God exists, loves you, and wants you to know him? For this theory to be proven true, God would have to reveal himself to you. Not only would it answer the question but it would eliminate all doubt. Let's go through some evidence. God is not quiet. He announced himself when he created the universe. The Bible says, since the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God, Romans chapter 1 verse 20. If the universe was created by some random accident then there is no reason why it operates in an orderly manner and adheres to multiple laws. Yet, our world has structure, so much so the solar system was named accordingly. The reason why the universe obeys the laws of gravity, physics, energy and many others is because it was designed by a logical and orderly God. But God went even further to reveal himself when he sent his Son, Jesus Christ, to earth. Christ was human but also divine. Jesus declared he is God and then backed up his claim in many ways. He shared himself with thousands of people during his ministry, and again to hundreds more after his death and resurrection. In your search for truth, focus more of your effort on Jesus. You'll discover he loves you. The clearest proof God is real is in Jesus' prediction he would be killed and then come back to life a few days later. Not only did it prove he was God to everyone, but it clearly displayed his love for all of us. His death was the sacrifice that makes it possible for you to spend eternity with the living God who loves you and wants a relationship with you. The only proof for the existence of God is that without God you couldn't prove anything. Atheists say no one can prove the existence of God but I say no one can disprove that God exists, I see God in everything I feel his presence everywhere to me I know that he exists. Faith is not a question of the existence or non-existence of God. It is believing that love without reward is valuable. Our worst days are never so bad that you are beyond the reach of God's grace. And your best days are never so good that you are beyond the need of God's grace. We're not alone at least. We're alone only if we choose to be alone. We're alone only if we choose to go through life relying solely on our own strength rather than learning to draw upon the power of God. Patience is tied very closely to faith in our Heavenly Father. Actually, when we are unduly impatient, we are suggesting that we know what is best, better than does God. Or, at least, we are asserting that our timetable is better than His. We can grow in faith only if we are willing to wait patiently for God's purposes and patterns to unfold in our lives, on His timetable. At this very moment, God's working behind the scenes in your life, arranging things in your favor. Stay in faith. God bless you. The best is yet to come.